Welcome to the Data Management video series. I'm the Data Services Librarian, Kristen Briney, here at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. So we've done a whole data management video series now, and we've looked at some tips and tricks for data management. And the reason we've done this series is that a lot of researchers now have new funding requirements to manage and share their data. So in this video, I want to look at the sharing portion of those requirements and particularly talk about data citation. And data citation is really important because as people share more and more research data, we need to have a way to give people credit for whenever we use that research data. And so data citation is just like article citation. You cite the data set in the work cited portion of your article, and it looks very similar to an article citation. But you have to include specific information that's necessary to understand what the data set is and where it came from. So whenever you find a research data set that you would like to use, you want to cite it. And there's five key elements of a data set citation. These have been standardized fairly recently because data sharing is a fairly new phenomenon. So we have those five key elements that you look for in any data set citation. The first one is the name of the creator or creators. The second one is the year the data set was published. Number three is the title of the data set. Number four, the data set publisher or the repository where the data set lives. And number five, a unique identifier for the data set. And this uh, ideally is a DOI, a digital object identifier, but the URL also is pretty good. So those five key elements are part of any data citation. And the actual format you put it in can vary depending on your citation style. A lot of citation styles haven't yet built in the citation format for data sets. So in the absence of a recommended format for data set citation, I'm showing you an example here of the way you should format a data citation. And you can see, again, it has those five key elements. Creator, year, title, publisher, and unique identifier. So in the absence of a recommended format for data set citation, use this format. I'm also going to show you here another example of what that actually looks like in practice. And this example comes from a really nice article, and actually the data that corresponds to a really nice article, talking about how when you share your data, the citation counts on your articles go up. And you can see in this example, it has those five key elements, and even in the title it says it's data from this particular paper. So those are the basics of data set citation. You have those five key elements, but you can also include a few more things if necessary. So if you have information on series, if you have information on the version of the data set you're using, what day you access the data set, that information can also go in the citation. But anything past that, say you use a particular subset of the data, that should go into the article itself, talking about how you use the data and process the data. The final thing to say about citation is when you're citing a data set, it's often a good idea to cite the article to which the data set corresponds. It's not strictly necessary, but a lot of times you'll need to read the article in order to better understand the data. So you want to cite them both. But there are definitely cases where the data set doesn't have an article or you don't need the article to understand the data. So use your best judgment, opt to cite both. So hopefully that shows you a little bit about data set citation, how citation is really the expected practice for when you're using other people's research data that they've shared. And as you yourself share your data, I really encourage you to put your data sets as line items on your CV and really take pride in the fact these are great research objects. You can track the citations and show that they're really important to be sharing. They're having an effect and an influence on research. So hopefully that shows you a little bit about data citation, and I really encourage you to practice good practices and cite any data sets that you use.